a husband boarded his flight and left without his wife when she insisted on getting Starbucks at the airport after he said they didn't have time. In a Reddit post, the man explained the situation, saying that he and his wife were flying to visit his 21-year-old daughter, who was away at college. The husband said he's very type A and hates to be late, but his wife, who is his daughter's stepmother, has a very different go-with-the-flow type of attitude. The couple managed to make their first flight on this particular journey, but the connecting flight was another story. They got to their terminal and had about 15 minutes before the next leg of their journey. But the wife insisted she wanted coffee and the husband offered to get it from the market right next to their gate. She insisted, however, on going to Starbucks, which was nowhere near their gate. He told her they did not have enough time, but she went anyway without him. As the plane was boarding, this husband called his wife four times to ask where she was. She finally answered on the fourth call and said that she was on her way back to the terminal and that the line at Starbucks was exceptionally long. The husband went ahead and boarded the plane after the gate agent said they couldn't hold up the flight. He full on left his wife behind. He told her to get a ticket for the next flight and that he'd see her when she arrived. When she finally arrived at her stepdaughter's school, this wife had nothing to say to her husband and after a week of the silent treatment she finally told him that he was wrong and shouldn't have boarded the plane without her but ultimately the wife is responsible for her own actions the husband also has a responsibility to be there for his daughter when he says he will be there the wife was only thinking about herself and made her husband decide between her and his child when she decided that the coffee was more important who do you think was wrong in this situation A flight attendant asked a passenger to change the seat he paid for specifically so that a standby passenger could sit by her husband. Seriously, what is up with air travel these days? The man defended himself against the flight attendant's request, saying that his bags were already in the overhead bin above him and his backpack was already under the seat in front of him. He asked why he had to move when he had paid for that seat. The flight attendant wasn't having any of it. She insisted that he needed to move. He told the flight attendant that this other passenger should have paid for that seat if she wanted it so badly. The flight attendant then offered to return him the money for the specific seat, but for him at that point, it wasn't about the money, it was about the principal. The outcome of this exchange is unknown, but many people sided with the man. Flight attendants are certainly allowed to ask passengers if they'll move seats to accommodate others, but they cannot force people to move if they've already paid for the seat and don't want to. Passengers who want specific seats should arrange them beforehand. Standby passengers are given whatever seats are left and available and are usually not prioritized over passengers who are already seated and situated. What would you do in this man's situation? Would you give up your seat? A woman who bought two seats on a plane because of her weight was asked to squeeze into one so that a toddler could sit next to her. The woman posted her story on Reddit describing herself as obese. But before we go any further, no one needs to justify their body size to anyone and there's nothing inherently wrong with being fat no matter what society or anyone else may say. This woman purchased an extra seat while booking a cross-country trip so that in her words, everyone could be more comfortable. She said that it sucks to have to pay for an extra seat, but it is what it is. On the day of her trip, everything went smoothly at first. A woman came up to her row with a boy who appeared to be about a year old and told this woman to squeeze into one seat so her son could sit in the other. This woman told the mom no and that she had paid for the extra seat. The mom then went and told the flight attendant that this woman was stealing her son's seat and this woman had to show her boarding passes to prove that she had paid for the extra seat. The flight attendant initially sided with the mom asking this woman to try to squeeze in but the woman stood up for herself saying she wanted the seats that she had paid for. The flight attendant eventually told this mom to put her son in her lap. The woman wondered if she was in the wrong for keeping the extra seat and Redditor said that she was well within her rights to do so. If the mom wanted an extra seat for her son, she could have purchased one. We all deserve to be treated with respect no matter how we present in the world or what our bodies look like. It seemed like the mom assumed she could treat this woman poorly because she was obese. Yet this woman knew her worth and wasn't going to be made to feel like she didn't deserve what she had rightfully paid for. <laughs> A woman says that another plane passenger let a baby crawl all over her when she wouldn't move seats so the family could sit together. The woman, who goes by at Diary of a Solo Traveler on TikTok, likes to align her flights with her sleep schedule. She was ready to fall asleep in her carefully chosen window seat after boarding the plane. A woman with a baby in her arms then came up and asked Diary of a Solo Traveler if she'd be willing to switch seats. 
While acknowledging that you can always ask someone if they're willing to move seats, Diary of a Solo Traveler told the mom no, saying that she would prefer to stay in her window seat. The mom was disgruntled, but sat down in her seat with the baby, and Diary of a Solo Traveler fell asleep in her window seat. However, when she woke up, the child was climbing on top of her. Diary of a Solo Traveler believes that this woman refused to deal with her child because she refused to switch seats. While most airlines will try to seat families together, they generally don't require travelers to give up their seats to accommodate families. And those who pay for a specific seat will usually have priority. It's best for passengers to choose their seats ahead of time. And while you still can ask someone to switch seats with you, it's not okay for you or your infant to act out if you don't get your way. A woman was allegedly caught breastfeeding her cat mid-flight. Yes, breastfeeding a cat on an airplane. The video has been deleted from TikTok, but it allegedly showed passengers pleading with flight attendants on a Delta flight to stop this woman from breastfeeding her cat. However, in spite of the crew's request, the woman reportedly continued doing so. Ainsley Elizabeth, a flight attendant from that flight, posted a TikTok seemingly explaining the situation. She said it was one of those hairless cats swaddled up to look like a Baby. The woman was trying to get the cat to latch and the cat was screaming for its life according to Ainsley Elizabeth via Newsweek. Security met the flight when it landed to tell this woman she could not do it again because it was quote weird and gross. People online have questioned the authenticity of this situation since the flight attendant's video is the only account of it ever even happening. Delta has never confirmed nor denied that a woman breastfed a cat on one of their flights. Delta does however have clear policies on pets and breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is allowed in flight however However, that refers to human babies. Whether this policy includes animals or not is still unclear, probably because no one would have ever thought that people do that. Pets are allowed in flight, but they are to remain in a carrier bag under the seat for the duration of the flight so as to not disturb other passengers. A couple was called out for blocking an aisle seat while searching for the perfect passenger on a Southwest flight. Since there are no assigned seats on Southwest flights, passengers have been known to do whatever it takes to avoid that dreaded middle seat. This couple wanted to hand pick the perfect passenger to offer up the aisle seat in their row. In a 2022 Instagram video that has since been deleted, the man and his wife are shown sitting in the window and aisle seats of the row, leaving that awful middle seat open in order to keep people from sitting with them. The woman was shown making eye contact with other passengers just long enough to see if they would be that perfect person to sit with them in their row. Once she found someone she deemed worthy of sitting with them, she tapped the young man with the headphones on the shoulder and asked him if he wanted the aisle seat in their row. Her husband joked that she was just looking for somebody cool to scoot over. The woman then scooted over the middle seat and the young man took his new coveted aisle seat. Internet users seem divided over the couple's discriminatory tactic for a more comfortable ride on the Southwest flight. Some thought it was a bit shady to handpick who sits next to you or more importantly, who doesn't, while others thought it was genius and promised they'd use it on their next flight. Despite the outrage Southwest open seating policy sometimes causes, the airline does not have a written policy prohibiting saving seats. And they even posted a humorous TikTok with discouraged seat saving tactics. What do you think? Think, is it okay to save a seat for the so-called perfect passenger on a Southwest flight? A woman shared a photo of a guy manspreading on a plane and asked other people how they would react. Airplane trips are uncomfortable enough with tight seats and very little leg room, but her trip appears to be a little more than mildly uncomfortable. She shared this photo to the mildly infuriating subreddit, which shows her legs tightly wedged in next to the leg of a male passenger sitting next to her. He appears to have plenty of room since his legs are sprawled on either side of him, while let's face it, tall passengers do struggle on cramped planes. Some believed that the man in this photo was manspreading. We all know what manspreading is, right? It typically happens on public transportation, making travel unpleasant for everyone around him. A study out of Hunter College found that men stretch their legs out on the subway five times more often than female passengers. So if you find yourself traveling, please consider and respect the space of your fellow travelers regardless of gender. We're all in this together, and a little consideration can make the experience of traveling more bearable for everyone. 
Everyone's got their opinions about airplane etiquette. Especially since air travel has become such a nightmare, mainly because other passengers are themselves nightmares. But it's hard not to feel like a man on Reddit who has a suggestion for how to improve the air travel experience isn't also part of the problem. He believes that airplane window shades should stay up by default as a rule. He posted his take on the unpopular opinion subreddit, seeming to sense that it would be controversial. And boy, was he right. He thinks the shade should stay up so that people can enjoy the view at all times. Because he believes the magical experience of seeing the world from thousands of feet up goes far too underappreciated by today's air passengers. And he can't understand why people constantly ask him to put his window shades down, saying that they should bring an eye mask if they want to sleep. Fair enough. People on planes have become far too comfortable demanding other passengers accommodate their preferences. And commanding people to close their window shades is really no different. But honestly, neither is insisting that they stay up. Shouldn't it just fall to whoever paid for the window seat to control the window shade? That's certainly how most people on Reddit felt. And they vehemently disagreed with this guy. But then others pointed out that sometimes the sun shines directly in other passengers' eyes. Which is a bummer, but still, why is that another passenger's problem if they paid for a window seat? One Redditor did have a helpful tip for avoiding this whole conflict in the first place, though. To purchase your seats based on where the sun is going to be during your flight. By choosing the side of the plane that's most going to be facing west in the morning or east in the afternoon. Pretty brilliant! It's certainly not going to solve most of the problems with air travel nowadays, but it might help us avoid at least one source of airplane drama in the future. Is it ever okay to recline your seat on a plane? It's an ongoing debate. And in yet another recent viral airplane altercation, a woman got into a full-blown shouting match with passengers she said kicked her seat the entire flight after she reclined it. Here's what went down. Everyone was deplaning when this woman suddenly whirled around and yelled at the couple behind her, the whole trip she pushed my seat! The man tried to defend himself and his partner, but that only made the woman more agitated. Until she finally snapped and yelled, I'm allowed to put my seat back over and over again, growing more emphatic every time. And the response to the video revealed just how differently we all think about this issue. The woman seemed to have more supporters than detractors, even among those who hate it when people recline their seats. I mean, listen, as a guy on the taller side, I hate it when people recline their seats, but they do recline for a reason. But whether or not you should recline your seat, eh, that's a different question. Many feel you should never recline your seat out of courtesy for others because of the cramped space and especially because when you recline your seat, the person behind you often can't use their tray table. And even etiquette experts, yes, etiquette experts have actually weighed in on this, have cited this is a reason you should never recline. One expert also pointed out the possibility of breaking someone's laptop behind you when you recline your seat, something flight attendants say they've seen happen multiple times. They also recommend not reclining your seat during food and beverage service for the same reason, or if the person behind you is especially tall, injured, or disabled. So if you're a seat recliner, at least check behind you and make sure you aren't going to destroy someone's property or, you know, break their legs. And to everyone else? Yeah, seat recliners are very annoying. But retaliating against something they have every right to do? You gotta chill, man. Air travel is nightmarish enough already without all this kind of drama.